I am running for Justice of the Peace because I think it's a perfect fit for me as far as the job goes. I've always enjoyed um, doing re legal research. It's kind of been a hobby. Um, when I went to college, I took electives in law. Um, I'm in the uh, insurance business as far as my regular job, and I deal with contracts uh, all day long. My specialty areas have been in employee benefits and also uh, financial planning, and as part of my CLU designation, studied estate planning, estate law, pension law, labor law, those types of things. And it's kind of a niche that maybe I missed my calling early on, but something that I, I've found that I really enjoy. And as a grassroots activist, one of the things that I've found is that when you're doing grassroots activism, you can work from an emotional aspect or you can work from a logical aspect. And for me, I prefer the logical aspect. And so from a logical aspect, researching law enables you to make things happen that you want to happen. And I think it's kind of one of those things where when you understand the rules of the game, you can play by the game and, and you can make things happen. And so that's something that I've been doing for uh, probably the last 30 years as uh, legislative director for the National Association of Health Underwriters as a participant in the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce's Legislative Committee and also in the, the Tempe Chamber of Commerce's Government Relations Committee. So it's just, to me, it seems like it's, it's been a, just an absolutely perfect fit for me. And so it seems like the right timing and so I decided to run. The best way to say it is that uh, I've found that this is another way to serve. After 10 years in the legislature, uh, I believe that it was time for me to turn the page and, and uh, find a new career direction. Uh, I believe this is a good way to serve, that it fits my background and we can, um, and personality and, and, and interests and things. We can probably talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, I was also encouraged by others. I was encouraged by people in the law profession, people at other JPs. Um, and, and probably the most compelling reason was something that I was not aware of and wouldn't have been aware of, but I, I visited some, uh, some justice courts and saw how they proceed. And the one in particular intrigued me because that, that, that JP uh, didn't just pound his gavel and say, okay, you're fine, his ex, and off you go. Uh, but there were several examples of people uh, that had um, uh, uh, lost their driver's license. And they not only, they were driving without a license, so they were double, double jeopardy. <laughs> you know, they had their license taken away and then they were caught, caught driving without a license. And so they were in trouble. And uh, in several instances, what, it, what this particular JP said to them, said, you want to get your license back so you can get your life back? And I said, yeah. They said, well, let me give you a path that that can happen. And he would spell it out. He'd say, how much can you afford a month? You know, and they'd say, okay, you know, $150. He'd say, all right, we're going to make it 100 you know, And I asked him afterwards, and he said, well, it was because people always tell you more because what, what they think you want to hear. You know? So he said, I always back it off because I want them to be successful. And, and so he said, okay, first thing you have to do is this other penalty that you have for the, the, first, the first penalty. You've got to get that paid off. And then when you have that paid off, you come back here. And starting on this date, you're going to have $100 a month or whatever, whatever it was. And, and you will, at the end of six or seven months, whatever period of time, you will have your driver's license back as long as you're going to do all those things. And I thought, well, that really is a good way to serve. You set people back on a good course as opposed to just pounding a gavel and uh, saying, guilty, you know, pay this lady over here $750 or whatever it is. <laughs>